question. I did want to say that you said earlier, oh, it'd be those. great if it was raining. Mm -hmm. um, these are, these are, I think these are all going to be great scotches for if you're in the rain. Like yeah. These are, yeah. For a dark or gloomy night, not for a nice sunny day, the first sunny no, day we've had I mean, in a long time. This is a gorgeous California, this is what people move to California. Yeah. This, yeah. this weather. It's going to start getting warm now. Um, are we ready for our next? Uh... Yeah, because I kind of want to start comparing and contrasting. Like, I feel like, I feel like my descriptions are going to get better better because i'll be able to go, okay so this one's like that and this one's yep. you know i don't even have any whiskey in my house right now which is a real failing on my part you have six ounces eight ounces well now i do now i do <laughs> <laughs> i definitely but, am yeah i'm excited to see because each one of these i know is going to be a campfire but i'm excited to see how they're different campfires it is the kill holman this is 100 percent isla Distilled in 2010, bottled in 2017, 50% alcohol by volume. It is, uh, it's 100% uh, Isla. So everything that went into this is from Isla. The water, the barley, the yeast. Um, the the, the preserved dead bodies in, in the peat. Absolutely. Everything it's they found much, goes right in. It's a much paler color than the Laphroaig. It is. So I think this is probably all bourbon barrels. Now they don't actually state what they are. Here, I'm going to just mm -hmm. over there. Hmm. Have you been to all these places? Um, you'll see from these photographs that yes, I have. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Yeah, this is a lot less smoky in those. It is still peated, but it's not the it's not the same peat that they use at, at Lafroig. So most of the distilleries on Isla have peat bogs that are separate from each other, and it's going to be dependent on what plant life was, you know, growing there, hundred thousand years ago or ten thousand years ago, however long it takes. Because um, peat is just basically plant matter on its way to becoming coal as it gets compressed and compressed. Yeah, right. This nose kind of reminds me of a Highland. Like it has that same sort of floral, you know, or. And I think it's just that we had Lafroy just before this that it's kicked the idea that this is peated out of our minds, but this is peated. Yeah, I'm sure we'll. Yeah, just in the nose, so I'm not we, kind of catching any of it. So what I'm smelling is do you know the incense that they sell it like national parks and they usually sell it in little with little clay incense burners of like little cabins. And, oh yeah. And it's like wood incense. It smells to me like, like that, like a national park gift shop where, where the incense has been burning. Like it smells like cedar to me. Yes. Yeah, uh, that's interesting. Pine, I would have said, but yeah, yeah there's definitely pine. yeah like pine forest like 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 not the the needles but the but the wood of of a pine or cedar mm -hmm. tree yeah there's definitely some floral notes in there though mm -hmm. mm. as well I like, like, it's, I like i like this i like the nose a lot it's really delicate compared to, <laughs> to what we just had uh for sure but yeah it is it's delicate in comparison but oh. i think many things are delicate in comparison to lafroig so oh that's warm that's a nice warm delightful flavor yeah, I get the, the floral, the honey, the vanilla, and, and almost a buttery coating on the tongue. Ooh. Mm. Yeah, there's like a sweet butter in there, like a sweet cream or a sweet butter. So much more nuanced than the Laphroaig. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Laphroaig is like a like a like a band with a bunch of horn sections, and this is like uh, violins and mm -hmm. maybe some flutes, but no French horns. No, definitely no French horns in this. Oh. And I love these moments that happen because it's just three people looking into middle distance, tasting things. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I would change this at all. I think it's it's right where it needs to be. Yeah, um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't add anything to this. I feel like yeah. that would ruin it. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't. I, yeah, I wouldn't science it. I don't generally like to add water or ice or anything to mine. Neither do I. I'm I'm with you. Yeah, I mean, I, I enjoy these tastings and the uh, moments of science that we that we have, but I, I generally would agree with you. Mm -hmm. It is interesting that some of them though like get better with a little bit of water. Like I, I wouldn't yeah. have thought I wouldn't have thought that or noticed it until we started doing this. But oh god, yeah, that once again for completely different reasons. What a delightful nose. And the whiskey is not bad too. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Zing. This is why we asked Amanda on. Yeah. Um, Are we ready to start improvising songs yet? <laughs> I was just yeah, going to I, I was like, my lips are getting numb. This is great. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, 
Yeah. So uh, another thing uh, that I was just, I was just having a conversation with my mom about this. Uh, I think I'm going to start trying to get my groceries as much as possible from local restaurants that are offering yes. market boxes as opposed to getting like Instacart. Because what's interesting is I'm finding that uh, the prices are extremely competitive. You're getting better produce and you're helping keep restaurants in business as opposed to the Amazon, you know, it's a, it's a giant and uh, uh, they're doing and, fine. And there, and there are some, I, you know, there's some moral quandaries with having delivery people uh, uh, go and get your groceries for you, you know? So Anyway, it's something I was thinking about as far as uh, sharing with your podcast listeners as we mm -hmm. move into month two of stay at home. Yeah, I do pre-order and pick home. up for groceries. And then mm -hmm. also we have um, Imperfect Produce, which is a great company. Yeah, I, yes. I highly recommend them. Yeah, I do, imper awesome. I do Imperfect as well. Yeah. 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 And um, I just signed I, up for it and they won't deliver until May. Yeah, they're, I mean, we oh, signed up like b before the rush happened, so... But you know, um, like Hugo's in uh, West Hollywood and in uh, in uh, the Valley, they have a huge produce selection. Um, really? Yeah, Tender Greens has excellent. Uh, I know they're more of like a local now, are, chain. Are there any but, local restaurants selling toilet paper? Because I've heard in some places they will sell toilet because it's tender. completely it's a completely different supply chain. So if you can't get toilet paper, which you can't, <laughs> you can't get it. But, t t yeah. Tender Greens offers a roll of toilet paper with purchase <sighs> so you buy a box of vegetables you get a roll of toilet paper hmm. but i also get my toilet paper from who gives a crap uh, dot com and that's 100 percent recycled toilet paper and for every time you buy toilet paper they build toilets in places that don't have toilets oh my gosh so, wow. yeah a lot I, of I sustainability gonna... tips and i appreciate it uh Amanda. Yeah. thank you yeah you're welcome i'm here for this I'm hoping that we can come out of this in a, um, a more sustainable and uh, better world. You know what I mean? Like, I know that yeah. there's going to be a push, like, when this is done for, like, corporations are going to be like, go out and buy people. But it's like, I hope we go, like, everybody kind of collectively goes, like, we don't really need to do that. It seems like things where we can take our time with stuff. We don't need to buy stuff all the time. I Hopefully. I, know. I know. I think I think that there will be... Well, it's hard to say, right? You know, like, you, 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 you wish for the changes that you relate to so hopefully i think some people that will be the case i think for for you and i that'll probably be the case i can't speak to andrew i have no idea what he's gonna well do. andrew has put some science into um into a scotch I so so he pull up toilet paper every time i go because i'm just wasteful that way he doesn't even pull it off he just like takes the thing and like rubs it yeah down in his yeah uh, so, so tell us about the science. How does the science, how's it go, doing with uh, I think the water? It's about neutral. It knocks down some of that uh, incense mm -hmm. aroma. On the taste, I think it adds a little bit more of the sour note. You get a little bit more of the, mm. um, the mm. sour finish. So I don't know that I'd recommend water. I'm not going to do it. Yeah, me neither. Thanks for taking the bullet. And no one has to, but you know. Of course, you've, yeah. got, the, you've got the whole bottle there, so... Uh. <laughs> I, and I'm also so excited about tasting these today because I have never opened these bottles, as you saw. I sent it with that thing, and it was like, oh, look, four Isla whiskeys I've never tasted. Yay! That's so exciting. Thanks for sharing with me. Yeah, thanks for sharing with us. Um, what's nice is if you take a little bit of a bigger sip and kind of like hold it on your tongue for a second, then you get that it's almost like the incense is like expanding into your soft palate, like you kind of can, you can smell it from the back of your nose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you for that. Yes, yeah. that is, yeah. It's, it's sort of like you, you get the actual campfire in, in your mouth as opposed to just here, okay, here's the, the smoke and then the fire. You get the smoke and the fire at the same time. Um, so far, uh, both of these are my favorite whiskeys. I'm looking forward to tasting my new favorite whiskey. <laughs> so, man, every, every whiskey that Joseph has has pretty much been his favorite whiskey. 
That's changed, but I mean, now that we've been doing this, that there are some that are not necessarily my right. You're favorite. starting to refine your judgment. Yeah. yeah. But you've done the whiskey, the, you've both done the whiskey, what is that called? Scotch whiskey experience mm -hmm. in Edinburgh. Yeah. Yeah. It, and it's, it's incredible, right? Every, every time I've heard anybody talk about it, it's like the most amazing. It's, you get in and you're thinking, this is going to be something cheesy as you sit in this big barrel and it kind of spins around and goes down this track and shows you the history of whiskey. Oh. Goes, hey, you're, you're you're a grain of barley. We're going to mash you up and we're going to throw <laughs> yeast and water on you. Yeah. <laughs> now you're in the kiln. Yeah, it's a, yeah. there's a I ghost. A ghost I, stuff tells you how, how it happens. I didn't realize there was actually a ride. Yeah. That might be oh, relatively new, right? I mean, it, I think, uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, probably the last, I don't know. They're always upgrading. I thought it was just a tour. Mm, there's yeah. a ride. So, so you go to a place, there's a ride, and then there's some whiskey, and that's it? And then, yeah, and then you do a tasting room at the end. Um, if you, oh. It depends on what level you buy of, like, yeah. you know, what level of tour. There's, like, you know. Oh. Uh, yeah. I'm just but I do recommend the, the tasting and everything. It's really what, cool. So here's what I thought it was, was it's a tour where you go to Scotland, and then you go all around the country Oh. to distilleries with a guide and you all drink at all these different historical spots and yeah that's what i thought it was that, that sounds awesome a better one that's probably yeah. a very yeah. expensive one yeah well i, I don't know i have <laughs> done i haven't done any of it <laughs> so i mean right now what you're saying is if i spun my office chair around i would be having the whiskey experience pretty close to a scottish ghost talking to you yeah you gotta and also you gotta be inside of a kiln and then inside uh -huh. of the you know the, the and then yeah they go through all the steps you will you will oh, learn God. a lot about how they make scotch oh huh? yeah neat yeah 